His second guest will be joining me, Benga Adebayo, who is the chairman of Alton, A-L-T-O-N. It's a long one, but let's really take this report. And after this, he will join me virtually to stay. The sector will soon begin to implement the harmonized short code services five years after the NCC report. Customers of various network providers and commercial banks can now use the same USSD codes to carry out services for airtime, data, and even conduct financial transactions, thanks to the new harmonized short codes. Currently, mobile network operators and commercial banks operating in Nigeria use different USSD codes for their services. Hence, customers who want to perform essential services from these institutions tend to get confused on the exact USSD code to use, thereby making it difficult for daily transactions. The introduction of harmonized short code services will bring about ease in day-to-day -day transactions. I am aware of uh, this of USSD, which has to do with some code, but the unification of sort, I have not heard of anything like unification. I think the only thing I know about USSD, I know the one for, for different banks, so, but the unification uh, for now, uh, I'm not yet aware of that. The system is not effective because of so much problems that have cost us, we, even we, the, the users. It's not, you, when you do a transaction, the transaction doesn't scale through, you have a problem, and when you go to bank, you cannot get access to the management. So, mm, I think that will, that will not be, because for w the ones that they have already, is it effective? So I'm, I won't be. Sh I don't know what to say about that, but I'm not. I'm not sure it will be effective. And our network issue is so poor. So I don't think it can work. I don't know. In fact, I don't hear because to the problem of this morning, me, I don't want to labor myself much. I don't really join the cumulus of it. Little I have, I maintain it. According to the Association of Licensed Telecommunication Operators of Nigeria, the migration to a new set of codes will be concluded by May 17th. 2023, which will mark the end of the viability of old short codes. All right, so I'll come back. Just before we go over to my next guest, let's quickly take uh, a few seconds to uh, get the update from Port Harcourt River State. Uh, Abadje Osakwe is joining me right now. Abadje, what actually is the situation report in Port Harcourt? We've done Kano, we've done Lagos, now Port Harcourt in River State, at least looking at the commercial centers in the country. What's happening? Are people rejecting the notes? Yes, go ahead. Well, uh, people, are still, no, so people are still rejecting the notes here in uh, Port Harcourt. Uh, for residents, it was a thing of joy for them to uh, hear that yes, the uh, central bank governors, directors, and other commercial banks uh, should accept uh, the old currency note of 500 naira, 1,000 naira, and 2,000 naira, you know, as they say, um, they But this white I'm catching that I'm holding, I just went to a shop nearby uh, to purchase this and this and I brought up a 1,000 naira, and the man said, I never begin to take 1,000 naira because people can't get for this money to people. So it is that bad here yeah, in most of the banks that have visited this morning. Uh, one behind me here, uh, you can see the crowd, you know, how they've been dressed since about 7 a.m. Uh, uh, today. And up to the past 11 to 12, they are yet to have access into the bank. I spoke with one of the security operatives there. He said, uh, we have not said anything because we don't have money. A lot of information came in pretty late yesterday. I think they will just have to wait for money to come into this uh, before they start uh, dispensing. The ATM machine is also not dispensing. Uh, so much crowd there, they have resorted to state to just go inside and talk to the customer there to perhaps get an assurance of uh, what day, what time uh, that they will start uh, paying and start dispensing cash. So that is based on here in uh, Portugal. Ordinarily, the news yesterday also have been a sign of joy. But are people really excited this money? They are not because they are yet to have access to the old uh, currency, the old 200 naira note, 500 naira note, and 1,000 naira note. All right. Thank you very much, Abadje. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we will definitely be taking a situation report perhaps this week to see how Nigerians are accepting the old naira note alongside the new naira notes. Thank you very much. And have a good day in Port Harcourt.
All right. Thank you very much, guys. All right, now let's quickly move over to my next guest. Ben Gadebayo is the chairman of the Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators in Nigeria. Quite a mouthful. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Adebayo, and thank you really for your patience. Thank you for standing by. Uh, good morning, and thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Now, let me get started with you from that uh, report that we played earlier. Uh, some respondents, some Nigerians don't even have an idea that there is a harmonization or unification of short codes. Please, can you explain to our viewers uh, what the harmonization of the USSD short codes mean? Thank you. Um, USSD, by definition, is a structure supplementary data services. Uh, these are it's otherwise referred to as quick codes by which a GSM uh, user will interact with the network operator. Um, today, it's used for checking balances, used for uh, contacting the call center, used for data recharge, used for airtime recharge, and other features that are self-service related. And on the various uh, operators networks, we do have various short codes for different, for same services. For example, on one network, you can have a uh, star 557 as for checking balance. On another network to check your balance can be star 1234. Another one can be star 777. So what the regulator has said to us is that we should now harmonize these codes that for same services across various networks, the short code will be the same. In essence, uh, going forward in the new dispensation, to check your balance will be at star 310. Uh, to contact the call center will be 300. Uh, to contact to uh, relay, read your, read your voicemail message will be 301. To do credit recharge will be 311. This will now be uniform codes across various networks. As against the different type of codes that we have had for similar services across these networks before this time. What challenges do you see concerning uh, migration? And I also do need you to speak about this does not really affect banking transactions because some people do not understand the difference. They're thinking that the unification uh, will affect banking transactions. You have different USSD codes uh, to conduct banking transactions. So I would like you to speak on that as well as the migration challenges that we'll have between now and the deadline, May 17th. We don't foresee any challenge in the migration. We don't think there will be challenges whatsoever and whatsoever. Reason being that there will be enough announcement, there will be enough communication between uh, the operators and the various consumers. We are also thinking that this code will run alongside the new code will run along, along the alongside the old codes for some period of time to allow for ease of ease of transition. But I must emphasize that these services that has been mentioned, a uh, voicemail, uh, contact center contact, um, phone recharge, air airtime balance, these are free services offered by the operators. And these services are not billable. Uh, no operator ch charge you today for recharging your phone. No one charges you today for subscribing to data services. So as far as operators are concerned, these self-service features are offered free of charge to subscribers. However, where such services are provided for third party, for example, for reasons of accessing the banking service, a charge will apply, and the consent of the subscriber will be obtained before authorization is given. So as far as we are concerned as network operators, those services that we offer that are safe service in nature, they are free of charge, they are not billable services, but the ones that are dependent on third, third party, such as banking service, insurance, airline ticket, and other retail services that are offered through our various platforms, a charge will, be, will apply. There's a minimum charge of 698 cover network carrier charge. Any other thing beyond that is what is applied by the sole, by the service provider, whether the bank or any other one person providing the service. So um, in essence, the harmonization will not apply to uh, codes for the banking services, not in this instance. It will apply only to services that are safe service in nature, uh, that is between the subscriber and their network provider. Um, I don't know what will happen in the future if the regulator will consider monitoring those that provide other services, such as banking services and the rest of them. But in this instance, it's only applied to self service features which are free of charge services provided by the operators through the USSD applications. Okay, I heard you clearly earlier when you said that uh, the new USSD codes would go alongside the old ones. Are you seeing, will you see a kind of confusion there like we've seen around the Naira scarcity 
the old notes and the new notes because that's what's coming to my mind. <laughs> How will that work? If I impute the, the old one, will it go? If I impute the new code, will it go? No, uh, there won't be any confusion. Uh, the protocol will be very clear. You can use either or both. But what we will ensure is that if you are uh, if you are requesting for the same for the service using the old codes, you may get an announcement that there is now a new set of codes for this service for the future. Uh, so there will not be any confusion whatsoever. We will allow both services to run simultaneously, and we do expect that while the migration is going on, there will be no discrimination on the use of old code or new code until the final deadline, uh, which we think will be sometime at the end of uh, at the end of the year or sometime in a year from from the kick off date kick off date but harmonization is ongoing now we think this will be concluded by about 17th of may as directed by our regulator and i must emphasize that the usa service is a highly regulated service we are not doing this without the approval of our of our regulators and they are watching what we are doing we have clear protocol on how the migration should happen so there will not be any confusion whatsoever and it is certainly has nothing to do with the the current challenge that people have with the currency and the banking transaction or USSD. Nothing whatsoever has to, to do with the USSD provided by the operators. Is there a risk, of, uh, is there a risk for having a uniformed, uh, uniform codes? Do you see risk there? No, I don't see any. It first is common practice that has become common global practice. Um, and we're in the technology industry, we have to move along with modern trends. And the national numbering plan, the number of resources are quite expensive. So what this will enable the operators and the regulators to do is once those non range of numbers are freed up and they are harmonized within the operators, it allows them to reallocate those old codes for other applications that may be required. So I think it's actually for better efficiency, or that is for ease of memorization, for ease of application, I think it also makes for better use of those number resources uh, that will be required for other applications in the future. So we don't think there is anything to worry about. It's very common practice all over the world today. And you can imagine how cumbersome it is if you have sub if you have subscription on different networks. You have to remember different codes to do the same service. So if you are recharging your network A today, they have a range of codes. Uh, on network B, they have a different range of codes. What we are saying tomorrow is that once you have these codes, it will apply across across various networks, whether it's network A or B, it will be one code to do the same service across all the networks. So it will be easier, it will be easy to remember, it will be easier to apply, and we think also that it will be more efficient, both for us as operators and also for the subscribers. Okay, let's take a look at the teledensity in Nigeria. I think we have about 226 million active uh, mobile subscribers. Uh, let's take a look at the teledensity vis-a-vis the quality of service uh, that Nigerians are getting. As an operator, uh, do you th what do you people tell yourselves, really? Uh, because if you, okay, now let me bring it down, since we're also talking about uh, connectivity. We've seen at least what has happened in the past few months that banking transactions or payment transactions depend largely on network. Uh, you go to the market, people are holding their POSs like this, they want network or even their phones, your banking apps do not work because we depend on the various networks uh, connectivity. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis our teledensity, how do you think, what are the challenges we are still having? Because what that has also shown us is that when there's so much pressure, the network seems to break down. We must separate the issues, and very clearly so. What we do as network operators is to provide carrier service for the banks. We have no control over what happens at the end at the banking, uh, at the banking servers. We don't have no control of what happens once we deliver you to the platform of the banks. So in essence, once we are able to send series of calls to request for service, and operators deliver you to the banking, banking uh, platform, we don't have any control about what happens there. So we have reasons to believe that the congestion and user experience that people have in terms of doing banking transactions has nothing to do with the operators, but it's something due to congestion at the, at the, at the servers of the banks. And unfortunately, the banks are also not communicating. Or they are not telling the public where the problem lies. Other than USSD services, you're also aware that even banking applications that depends on common internet service, in most cases, they're not even working. When you get connected onto the banks and you do transfer using uh, internet, uh, internet banking transfer, sometimes it takes to 24 to 48 hours or beyond before you can get value at the other end. This has nothing to do with the service provider, and it is very important that we separate that. So if people have experience that the um, ATM machines are not working, 
or the mobile units are not working or the PS machines are not working. It's not, uh, it's not in our control. We only provide transport service. We provide carrier service for the banks. And once we deliver you to the platform of the banks, our work is done. We, got, we have no control over how long it takes for the bank to respond. We have no control over how long it takes for their system to react to your inquiry and the rest of them. So in terms of the density, we have coverage um, significantly of all parts of the country. Today, there are no areas where you will not have some form of coverage, whether by way of level of 2G, 3G, or 4G. Uh, now, the load level differs from place to place. Our user experience will differ from place to place. But largely, I think to, to a good extent, we can say the country is fully covered. Services are available at most places at all times. Our uh, quality of, of user experience may differ due to a number of environmental reasons. But in terms of the experience that people now have using um, GSM services for banking transaction, it has nothing to do with network congestion at all. And okay. that must be made very clear. Okay, just before you go, in just a few uh, seconds, at the beginning we showed the report and some Nigerians don't even know about the unification or harmonization of the short codes. What is the organization uh, doing so that we can push out public enlightenment there between now and the deadline of uh, May 17th? We are going to do a lot of public enlightenment. It will include even when people try to make a call, they will get some notification about the new SSD code. We've done this uh, different times at different times in the past as an industry where we will do it again to make it easy for the people because we must remember that this is for reasons of making access to our networks easier. So the more open and transparent we are in terms of communication, the better for all of us. So as an industry, we will be engaging uh, and back on a lot of public enlightenment. We'll ensure that people have access to all the information and the energy guideline that people need to apply to make it seamless for people. So we guarantee the public that there will be no confusion in this transition, there will be no conflict in this transition, and there will be no impact on user experience in this transition because the reasons why we are in service is to serve the public, and that's what we will continue to do. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Debayo, for joining me. I have a lot more questions, but I, was, I seem I would have you on another day. What was coming to my head when you were talking was 5G, 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 but we'll talk about that on another day. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for your patience. Have a good day. Thank you very much. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. All right. I've been speaking with Ben Gadebayo, who is uh, the chairman of Association of Licensed Telecommunications Operators of Nigeria. That's the show uh, today. It's been a packed one. Uh, the press release has gone out from the Central Bank of Nigeria, so there shouldn't be confusion. If you can assess the old notes, please take it and do your transactions. If you can assess the new ones, please take them and do your transactions. I'll see you all again tomorrow, same time on this channel. Be the best you can be. Be the change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Bye for now.